4 minutes or less, I'm Felix. Today we're making Reese's Stuffed Peanut Butter Chocolate Cupcakes. Let's get started. In our mixing bowl, we are going to add butter, brown sugar, and white sugar, and beat to combine. Once mixed, add one egg and beat to combine. Next, add milk and vanilla extract and incorporate that into the batter. In a separate bowl, whisk together the flour, baking soda, baking powder, coffee or espresso powder, cocoa powder, and salt. Next, add half of the flour cocoa powder mixture to your wet ingredients, making sure to stop and scrape down the side of the bowl while incorporating it. Once the first half of the dry ingredients have been mixed in, add the second half and combine those making sure to scrape down the sides of the bowl. Once your batter looks like this, we can begin to make the cupcakes. Fill your cupcake liners a quarter of the way up, and then take a Reese's cup and put that in the middle. Once the Reese's cup is in, continue to fill the paper until it's about 75% of the way full. Once all your cupcakes have been filled, we're going to bake that at 350 degrees for 18 to 20 minutes. While the cupcakes are baking, we're going to make the peanut butter buttercream. Take your peanut butter and butter and beat them in the stand mixer. Once the peanut butter and butter have been combined, we're going to add half of our powdered sugar. Combine that. Once that's combined, we're going to add the second half. Once all the powdered sugar has been combined, we're going to add some milk to thin out the buttercream. Add that, beat it to combine, and making sure to stop and scrape down the sides of your bowl on occasion. 18 to 20 minutes later, your cupcakes should be done. You'll know they're done when a toothpick poked into the side of the cupcake will come out clean. Don't poke it into the middle because a Reese's cup will be in there. Once the cupcakes are cool, we can remove them from the baking tray and begin to pipe on our buttercream. After I piped on the buttercream, I rolled the cupcake around in some chopped up beer nuts and put a mini Reese's cup on the top. Once all my cupcakes were decorated, I drizzled them in some tempered chocolate, which I'll show you how to make in another video. For all ingredient amounts and more recipes, you can visit us at 4minutesorless.com. Thanks for watching.